School was easy as a young child. All you needed to know were your ABCs. But now, as a nursing student, you must build on the ABCs and now know not only your LFTs, CBCs, but your BMPs. Laboratory values provide a literal window to the physiologic soul and therefore must be known deeply so a nurse can recognize a change of status before it is too late. But once in the clinical setting, TMI is all too common because as you look at the medical record, you have numerous chemistries with that BMP. You have numerous values with the CBC. You have numerous data everywhere in the EMR. What do you focus on? That is a challenge for every new nurse. For example, a basic metabolic panel, the most commonly used panel in clinical practice, has over 10 lab values, the most common being sodium, potassium, creatinine, BUN, CO2, NIN gap, calcium, and even one or two more. The question is, do all of these have equal relevance to the nurse in the clinical setting? And the answer is no. But which ones does the nurse need to know and are always relevant because of the importance and the physiologic significance of what they represent? From my lens of clinical practice, there are four labs in a basic metabolic panel that are always relevant and must be noted by the nurse to determine the significance of physiologic well-being. Number one, potassium. Potassium is always relevant because of its importance to cardiac conduction. If this electrolyte is too high, greater than 5.0, or too low, less than 3.5, it can predispose to cardiac arrhythmias. And if it is too high or too low, it can even be life-threatening and can cause cardiac arrest due to ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. Number two, sodium. Sodium is essential to fluid balance and either too high or too low is a reflection of what is taking place physiologically. Let me illustrate this with a metaphor. Sodium normal is 135 to 145. That's the equivalent of my 16.9 ounces of water and one packet of Kool-Aid. If I put this packet in 16.9 ounces of water, I have a good drink and it's perfectly balanced. But if I take that same packet that's meant for 16.9 ounces and I put it into eight to 10 ounces of water instead, this is gonna be too concentrated. This is what happens when the body is dehydrated due to fluid loss of any type and therefore your sodium is gonna be hypernatremic greater than 145. If I take that same amount of, of water, 16.9 ounces intended and put it into something much larger, this is gonna get diluted out and it's not gonna be that pleasant either. And my sodium will be too low. This is what happens in fluid volume excess related to heart failure or those that drink too much water. They lower the sodium and that could be potentially a life-threatening complication. Number three, glucose. Glucose is essential to the metabolism and energy for every cell in the body. Too low, the body begins to shake. Too high, and it can cause complications related to diabetes. Therefore, it must be noted so the nurse can recognize either a new onset of diabetes or a stress hyperglycemia that is not unexpected postoperatively or with any stress related to hospitalization. Number four, creatinine. Creatinine is the gold standard for kidney function and renal perfusion because the kidneys impact literally every body system indirectly. It is always relevant and must be noted. This is an excellent example that when the creatinine is normal, it is still relevant because it's telling you as the nurse that the kidney function is normal and that in that context, all is well with kidney function. If you would like more on this essential topic of identifying what lab values are most relevant and important with every metabolic panel, I have this content in chapter six of my student text, Think Like a Nurse, Practical Preparation for Professional Practice. 
When you as the student have this deep knowledge of what is most important, you will be able to use this knowledge and clinically reason, which will not only prepare you for the NCLEX, but more importantly, real world clinical practice.